Hi everyone, my name is Massimo from the Blu-ray team and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Zoho Mail into your tablet, specifically today iOS, so an Apple tablet. This will work on either a tablet or an iPhone. So the first step you have to do is if you're a Zoho Mail user, you have to go into your settings. So when you log into Zoho Mail, go ahead and hit this little gear on the right hand side. When you hit this gear, you'll be brought to a page like this. Now it can be a little overwhelming, but where we need to go is to the IMAP settings. Now, one of the, it's under mail accounts right here. Now, if you really can't find it, you can also search up here, type IMAP and it'll highlight it. So you're gonna go to IMAP access. And basically what this means is you're allowing another software like Apple Mail to access your email. So IMAP is just a way of doing that. So when you come in here, most of you, the first time you go in here, you will not see this checkbox. So go ahead and check it. And then these port details will be uh, important as you integrate your iCloud. So keep this open on your, on your computer while you open up your tablet. So now I'm going to flip over to my tablet. So you can see here now that I have my tablet open and I've opened up the mail app in my tablet. So now you can go ahead and choose other. So at the very bottom of your page here, you'll see other. And then you have to fill out some details. So first off, I'm going to put my name and be careful with this because this is the name that clients will actually see when they receive an email from you. So don't fiddle around with this. You're going to put your email. It's what you think. So for me, I've got a long last name. Then you're going to go ahead and put your password. Now I've already copied mine because it's, it, it's very secure. And then I'm going to hit new account. So it now checks Zoho to see, is this a real account? If it does, you'll get to this page. If you don't get to this page, you did something wrong. So change your password or, or make sure your password's right. Now, if you remember, if I flip back over to the computer, you can see here that I have my IMAP ports. So basically Zoho is now telling you to type those into the tablet. So flipping back to the tablet, I'm gonna go ahead and type that. .zoho.com and then you're going to put your username. Now your username is your email again. Then your host name, it also gave you outbound ports. Now, truthfully, if you watch my video, it'll be the exact same on your computer. So you could just watch the video and type it in, but it's always good to check your, your port settings. Then you don't have to put this, but I'm going to put it because if you don't put it, it'll just take what is in the incoming settings, right? So um, whatever you have in the inbound settings, it'll copy over here. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be thorough. I'm going to paste the password again, and then hit next. So now this is um, basically the last step here. I might have spelled something wrong. IMAP pro .zoho.com. And when you get to this page, you have now successfully integrated your email. You can hit save and now it'll start adding the account and all the emails associated. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.